So our basic definition of a function is every x has to have a unique y. A quick description of that, another way to say that, is that every we can only have one x that's the same. See how this point is 2 comma 6, and that's 2 comma 7? They have a couple of x's that are exactly the same. So this one is not a function. Having the same y values is okay, but you can't have the same x. So putting that into your long-term memory, just like stupid story of the day, you know the, um, the show on TV where they have performers and they're rating them and um, they don't like the performance and so the judge pushes a button and a giant X comes up and then another judge doesn't like them and if they get three X's, they're out of there. So lots of X's, bad. You're like, which one is okay? X's are wise, X's are bad. Okay, so then let's look at a couple of quick examples here. So in this one here, notice I have the coordinate r comma negative eight, u comma eight, k comma negative six, and r comma eight. When I have these points, the x's are the same, the r's, r and r. So that means that it is not a function. Same x, no. Okay, then the next one here, they've just provided us with the information in a little bit different format. They have these arrows, but the meaning is that S gets mapped to negative nine. So in other words, that's the point S comma negative nine. J goes to negative nine. So J comma negative nine. K goes to negative nine. X goes to negative nine and C goes with negative one. Notice all of my X's are different. S, J, K, X, C, they are all different. So this one, since every X has a unique Y, it's a function. Okay, here's another one. This time they gave me a table of values, but the table domain is is the left column, range is the right column. So D, J, this is the point D comma J. The next point is R comma N. The next one is H comma X. And the last one is F comma R. D, R, H, F, all the X's are different. So every X has a unique Y. So yes, that one is a function. Okay, last example here of um, these ones. W goes to W, so that's the point WW. W. Y goes to W, so that's the point YW. A goes to A, and C goes to A, and C goes to Y. Notice that we have a couple of X's there that are the same, so this one, the C goes with both A and Y. So in other words, this one is not a function.